Good morning, Evelyn Carpenter. It's Thursday, February 6th, 2020. For zero bonus points, see if you fifth graders remember, former fifth graders, who would be 109 years old today? Shh, don't blurt it out, raise your hand. Who would be 109 years old today? Oh, I don't know. I was just coming out. Case. Happy birthday. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we did. See, those of you that weren't, we did. Those of you that didn't have the. We had potatoes with the salsa. It was the weirdest thing I remember. We had a snow day. 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 So, I used to say he was the last American president, and now I might not be able to say that. You have to understand politics, to understand the phrase, last American president. Anyway, uh, yesterday, he's happy. Happy birthday. We should sing. Happy birthday to you. This is on the World Wide Web. Happy birthday, dear Robert. Happy birthday to you. I'm actually going to have to go online tonight. Guaranteed, you're the only class in the entire world. Well, actually, guaranteed. No. But probably the only one that was going to be on the internet. Singing happy birthday to Ronald Reagan. <laughs> 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 yes. No, you look yeah, like Ronald Reagan. He actually. No, he doesn't. A plus, rest of the year. You don't. Hey. Yay. You don't have to do any worse than the rest of the year. You I'm just. Yay. Come on, you look like Zach. But it's going the other way. <laughs> I'm not quite sure who that is, but I think that's a good. <laughs> I think I know, but I think I, I'm pretty sure that's a good thing. Was he on like uh, Boy Meets World or something? No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Boy Meets High School. Not a classic. Not a classic. Was that a showman? Oh man. Boy Meets World. All right, here we go. We do. Hello. Just in case you thought we didn't start with math, we did, because we said he would be 109 today. So what year was he born? Raise your hand. Don't put it out. Uh, All right, numbers two, numbers, numbers two through 13. First of all, you answer number one, right? Let's answer that before we start. Lauren, what's it called when the retailer doesn't charge what they get. They get a wholesale price, and then they charge a retail price. That's called a, uh, what's that called? It's an increase when the retailer buys their product from the wholesaler. They can't charge that price. They wouldn't have a business. Uh, uh, Lauren, what do they call that? What do they do? What's the retailer do to the wholesale price to make sure that they can pay their bills and... Anybody? Marco. All right. Number two. If the original price was sixty dollars and it went down because discount is taking off fifteen percent, the new price is fifty-one dollars. Number three. If the original price was twenty-eight fifty and the discount was sixty percent. Now you're getting my attention, because once you get below 50, and I can start saying 40% on, I might be interested. 28.50, 60% off. What's the new price? Thank you. 11.40. Let's keep this train rolling. Number four. The wholesale price is 25. The markup is 65%. What's going to be the price of that item? At your store, 
you had to get it. You had to buy it for twenty five. You're gonna sell it for forty one twenty five. We talked about how that makes sense. It has to be Dominic. Wait, I just gave you. Yeah. Yeah. If you got forty one, were you gonna say that for real, Dominic? Okay, we are three for three. Pressure's on. Who? I want to do it. Excuse you. Okay. Number five. <laughs> he just says okay. Number five. The wholesale price is fourteen fifty, and it's a markup, Lauren. So is that an increase or a decrease? It's an increase of a hundred forty percent, not forty percent, a hundred forty percent. What is the price? This is more like a jewelry markup because his. Uh, notoriously, jewelry gets marked up at a very high percentage. Spence? 3480. 3480. Oh, I thought I got that wrong. 3480. We are four for four. Anybody want to take the pressure of number six? A lamp costs 2575. Sales tax is 4%. What's the total cost of the lamp? Lauren? 2471. It's a tax. So is that going to be added on to it or taken off the price? Added. So $25.75 becomes, Isaac? $26.78. You just had to add it, Lauren. That's all. Number seven. Your food bill at a restaurant is 30 bucks. You leave a 20% tip. The sales tax is 6%. How much... Are you paying for your meal? Thirty dollars for the meal. You leave a twenty percent tip because you're a generous fellow, and you're such a nice young lady. You're willing to pay your taxes because you have civic virtue. What's your total price, Casey? Thirty-seven eighty. If you got thirty-seven eighty, listen. This is what you did, David. If you got thirty-seven eighty, David, follow me here. Even though you didn't do it, you weren't here. Ready? $30, you have to add to that 20%, so you do 30 times 20%, you with me? Six bucks, you with me? So now, David, listen to me. $30 for your meal. You're leaving a 20% tip, okay? Trust me, 30 times 20% is six bucks, you with me? You with me, David? Okay, so now how much have you spent? 30 plus six, 36 dollars. But you also have to pay the tax. Tax was 6%. So you got to do $30 times 6%, which is $1.80. So you got 30 plus 6 plus $1.80 for a total of 37 each. Follow all that? Yeah. Number 8. The original price is 42 You got a 30% discount. You're so happy, Evelyn. You go shopping. You got a 30% discount. Rachel. Tell Evelyn how much she has to pay now. $29.40. You walk in, there's that, I don't know, what do you like more? Tops, shoes, whatever. And you're like, I really want those. Oh, 42 bucks. I know mom's not going to get them. Wait, 30% off. $29.40. She might. It's your lucky day. Number nine. The wholesale price is 19 It got marked up 110%. Micah. Thirty-nine ninety. You guys are rolling. Number ten. The wholesale price is sixteen forty-nine. It got marked up one hundred thirty percent. Okay. Now, everything else was all whole numbers. Evelyn. Sometimes we lose our minds because it's a fraction or a decimal. It's the same process. Sixteen forty-nine marked up one hundred thirty percent. Somebody besides Isaac. This side of the room. Who's got it? All of a sudden, we're not confident because there's a decimal involved. Jaden. Yes. $37.93. Next. Number 11. The original price is $22.40. You're getting a 25% discount. That means you're going to find out what 25% of $22.40 is, David. You're going to do $22.40 times 0.25 and subtract it from $22.40. Spence. 1680. 1680. Number 12. The original price is 54.75. You get 20% off. How much are you paying, Dominic? 
4380. And number 13, the last one you had to do, it's $65.40. God bless you. It's getting marked up 55%. Micah, $101.37. Awesome. David. All right, here we go. Ready? Even though that went really well, even though that went really even though that went really well, even though that went really well you know sometimes you got to work on your weaknesses and make them stronger and sometimes you take your strengths and strengthen them so we're not gonna just go on to the next thing we're gonna continue to practice plus david and evelyn are like wow that's really awesome you guys did so well on yesterday's homework but i don't have any idea what they're talking about so guess what here you go david number 14 you all do it and get it done before I get it done. The original price is 72. <laughs> sales tax is 6%. How much does it cost? Why is it a kebab? Because it was a fruit kebab, so I don't have to worry about like meat residue on it. And now I'm using it for my bookmark. All right, here we go. You said that's a pointer. Point to the board with this. Yes, I got a pointer, but this is. All right, here we go. It's $72, 6% sales tax. Watch this, David. Evelyn, why am I going to multiply this by, by 0 0.06? Because 0 0.06 is 6 tenths, so it's 6 hundredths. And what does the word percent literally mean? Per hundred. So I'm going to take the $72, David. I'm going to multiply it by 6%. Percent. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. I like to do it all the way out. $4.32. Now wait, it costs $72. The tax is $4.32. What's my total price? $76.32. If you got $76.32, don't hurt yourself cutting yourself on the back. $4.32 tax. Now, this is only a... 6% tax. I don't think anybody in here lives in a county that the tax is as low as 6%. Most counties these days, it's 7 and a half, up to 8. Do you live in here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, got it? Evelyn and David, who else wasn't here yesterday? I can only leave this on the board for about 30 more seconds, so if you're not copying that, David, do you have what I have, Evelyn? <laughs> Make sure you got that. Number 15, the original price is 58.40. The sales tax is 5.5%. We're not going to lose our minds because there's decimals involved. Go ahead and give 15 a try. I'll do it on the board. Now. 15. Come on, get with the program here, Isaac. We're still on 345. Dominic. $58.40. Sales tax is 5.5%. Jaden, David, Evelyn, Jaden will tell you that to change a 5.5%, to change a percent to a decimal, you move the decimal point two places to the left. So that's going to look like this. Woo, woo, got to put a zero there. 5.5% is point. 0, 0.55. Five. Now let's make sense of this. What would 5% look like? 0 0.05. What would 6% look like? 0 0.06. So this should make sense to you that 5.5% is between 0 0.05 and 0 
you move the decimal point two places to the left. And it should make sense that this is 5.5%. Let me say it again. The rule is, move it to the left. One, one, got to put zero there to hold that place. But it also should make sense to you because you know that 5% is written like that. And 6% is written like that. So what's between those? 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So that should make sense to you that that's fine. So I'm going to multiply 58.40 times 0 0.055. Who's done it? Who's already done with this one? Wow! At the end, you're going to have to round it to the nearest set. Five places. One, two, three, four, five. Three dollars. Rounded to the nearest cent. Look to the right. It's a two. Three dollars twenty-one cents. So fifty-eight forty plus. If you got sixty-one dollars and sixty-one cents, you did it correctly. Let's do that, again. David. You can't see up here? I don't talk loud enough? David, you can't see up here? I don't talk loud enough? Everybody says how loud I talk. You can hear me like all the way up the hall. Okay, David, ready? What's the price? Look right here. How much is the sales tax? Five and a half percent. How do you change a percent into a decimal? You move it two places to the left. How do you add the tax to it? You got to find out what is fifty-five or five and a half percent of fifty-eight forty. So I multiply. Still with me? I move my decimal point to the right place. I round to the nearest cent. I add the tax to my price, 61.21. Now, David, there's more than one way to skin a cat. So a shortcut here, David, would be if I didn't want to multiply and then add, I could have done something pretty clever, and I could have put a 1 out here and made it times 1.055. You can always do that because, because that's, taking, that's taking the multiplication and addition and putting it all in one because it's 58.4 times itself plus five and a half percent. But if you don't understand that, I, I didn't do it today because I don't want to confuse it. This is always the way you can get it, but there is a shortcut by multiplying it by one and five and a half percent if it's an increase. That makes sense? All right. Ready? Last one. Number 16. Your food bill is $25.80. There's a 4.5% sales tax and you're tipping 18%. This is the last one because it involves all three procedures. You got to find, wait, you're not finding 4.5% tax on what you tipped. It's 4.5% tax on the $25.80. So $25.80, find out what 4.5% is. Of that, add it to the 2580, then your tip. This might also answer your question from number seven. Some of you might be thinking, hey, do you tip according to the bill or the bill plus the tax? The you tip according to the bill. Yeah. 
So don't do the tax and then tip based on the tax. That's yes. You do the tax and the tip based on your original price. Spence, you already done with this one. Sixteen. I don't understand this tip. The tip is, listen, it's the same thing. You're just going twice. You got to find 18% of 25.8 times 5.18. You're going to add the tip to the 25.80, and then you're going to add the tax to the 25.80. The only thing on 16 is you got to do one extra thing. You got to do it twice. And then that brings on that brings up your little uh, lazy streak, and you don't want to do it because it's more work. No, yeah, I would say kind of doing that. Wait, 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 wait. So you take... You take 25 80. Watch this. For Dell. For Dell, what's the tax? So how am I going to write 25... How am I going to write 4.5% of 2580? Of 0.045. Did you multiply those? And then did you add that to 25 Yeah. Okay. Now, how much is your tip? How much are you tipping? 1%? Oh, 18%. So what am I going to multiply 25.80 by then? What's eight? There you go. Whatever you got for the 0 0.045 and whatever you get for the 0 0.18, add them both to the 25.80. Case. All right, you got the answer too, Dina? You guys want to say stereo? How about a surround sound? Ready? On three, what's the answer to 16? Did you round it in there, set? Yeah, 31.60. They got 31.60. 61. Wait, 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 wait. So whoever taught this before me corrected it. The book was wrong, evidently. 3160. Because I see a little pencil mark there to change the one to a zero. The book had 3160. 3160. Good job, Jeff. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. All right. Turn the page. We love percent. Yeah. Listen, like is kind of based on percentages. It really is. It really is. There's so many things in life that are based on percentage. So many decisions that you make. Like, I'm making this decision because the percentages tell me that's probably what's going to happen. Right, but. Right. All right. Using the percent equation in the middle of page 347, that's where your eyes are. You're not even on the right page, Reynolds. In the middle of page 347, you've got this thing called the percent equation. You want to know what A is. A is what percent of B. For instance, let's go to the real the real world problem at the top of 347 and 2,000 or I'm sorry 2,000 people 26.7 percent of them said that they had visited a beach in the past year find the number of people who said they visited a beach stop let's use some math sense before we even start this problem somebody give me a nice round number that you know the answer has to be a little more than. Let's use some math sense. 2,000 people were surveyed. 26.7% of them said they visited a beach last year. Using my math sense before I even start, I know my answer is going to be a little bit more than what nice round number. I'm waiting for more hands. Only three hands went up. Let me say it again. It's a way to self-check without having to do the whole problem again. <coughs> 2,000 people, 
26.7% of them said they visited a beach last year. That means the answer has got to be a little more than how many did Lorelai. It's not going to be all the way up to 1,000. It's going to be a little more than 500, isn't it, Isaac? Yes. Because 25%, Micah says, hey, that's something I got memorized. 25% is one four. And I could do mental math. What's one fourth of 2,000? 500. So I know going in, since it's 26.7%, if I get an answer that's not like between 500 and 700 or something, I must have done something wrong. Okay, here we go. I'll just give you nice round numbers there. Nice round numbers. That's all. It's got to be more than 500. Here we go. The example one's telling you how to do it. You're going to say, okay, what do you want to know? You want to know how many people visited the beach. That's what you don't know. That's A. Here's what you do know. It's 26.7% of B. What's B? 2,000 people. Is that simple? If you want to know what the number is, they're telling you it's 26.7%. Say the word. Of 2,000. How many people went to the beach? Think with me. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's A. It's a number. Here, I'll use A. How many went to the beach? I don't know, but I do know this. That number, say the word, is 26.7% of 2,000. We just translated that story from into algebra. I don't know what it is. That's what I want to know. I know it. Yes. is 26.7% of 2,000. So how do I figure it out? Oops. 0.267. Evelyn, why am I multiplying by 0.267? Because 26.7% is... Whoop, whoop. 0.267. You already did it, Micah? What? Oh, it's on there. Yeah, it's on there. When you multiply these in example one, it comes out to 534. Now, Dominic says, when he's done, he didn't check it and do the whole problem over again, but his answer makes sense because... He knew it had to be more than one-fourth of the 2,000 people, and he knows one-fourth of 2,500. <laughs> I hope every day, I hope there's not been a day that you had pre-algebra that I didn't stress mental math and math sense. I hope I've stressed it every day. This is the first day I stressed it? No, first day you didn't. No, he didn't. He stressed it a lot. He said, I keep, class, I listen, I keep math. talking about it because the more mental math you can get yourself, get in there, the more enjoyable math is. Nobody like, the less you have to write, course. That's why you didn't like the problems with the tax and the tip. You got to do more work. Less work you got to do, the better. And the math sets. You'll know that your answer is wrong. For instance, if you would have done this problem and you got, let's just say you messed something up and you got 5,300. Hello, only 2,000 people were surveyed. Let's say you messed this problem up and it came out to 53.4 and you rounded it to 53. You know it's wrong because, well, first of all, you can't have a fraction of a person, but also you... You know it can't be 50. If it's 26% of 2,000, it can't be over only 50. All right, your turn. Go. Numbers 1 and 2, bottom 347. We're running out of time. Let's go. You're going to have more homework. If you don't get moving, we're talking. I said, let's keep rolling. We're going 1 and 2 at the bottom of 347. 
I'm, no. And the time I take to wet my whistle. That's an old fashioned saying, isn't it? Sure is. What's that mean to wet your whistle? Have you ever tried to whistle when your mouth's dry? Or, I can't whistle at all. So if you, if you take a drink. Rudolph songs always come in my head. Super and wow. Yesterday it was a. Uh, like just singing yesterday. I six. There's always <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Clarice, uh huh. That's my For dreams one. to come true. <laughs> I'm cute. All right, I'm starting now. You should be. You should be either done or almost done with number one. I Find forty-five percent of seven hundred. Wow. What is? I don't know. Watch this, Seth. I don't know what is 45 percent of 700. This is what I want to know. What is 45 percent of 700? It's not mental math can even make you do a multiplication problem faster. I didn't go. I didn't bother going boom, boom, boom. I just went oh, five times seven, thirty-five hundred. Four times seven, twenty-eight hundred. What's the answer? I hope you got. Who said that, David? Three hundred fifteen. Number two. Find 24.5 percent of 800. 196. Let's say Brett shot 800 foul shots and he made 24.5 percent of them. Hey, some of you that are laughing. Is that a lot? What? what? To make 24.5 percent? No, that's not. That's like that's that's yeah, but some of you that are laughing wouldn't make 24.5%. Oh, I don't know. 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 I do the hardest part about this problem is a middle schooler not understanding this yet. 24.5% is 0.245. If you got that down, you got most of the work down for this, this week, really. Because it's always multiplying, right? You're doing that a lot, multiplying by a decimal. And you got 196. Many people have already said, you got to go to the restroom? No. Oh, okay. Turn the page. Okay, example number two. We're switching it a little bit. Now pay attention here. So far, so good, right? We're just yeah. going to give a little tweak here because we got to find something a little bit different using the same idea. Ready? You're not focused and paying attention. And then we get going, you're like, wait, wait, I missed something at the beginning. Well, duh, now you're lost because you missed the very beginning. Ready? Mark received 273 Mark received two hundred seventy-three, or 35% of the votes in the student council election. How many students voted in the election? Now what are they asking? Ready? Watch. Pay attention. Now they're at, now they're asking this. What information information did they give us? Two hundred seventy three is thirty five percent of I don't know. That's what I need to know now. Look at the difference. Something is forty five percent of seven hundred. This problem tells us or asks us, 273 is 35% of what number? Do you follow that? See the difference? 
This one is when you want to know what 45% of 700 is. This one, they give you the total, and they want to know what the percent is. This one, they tell you, they tell you the answer to that one. You've got to go back and see what 273 is, 35% of what? Translate it again. What is 45% of 700? Think like that. What, I don't know, is 45% of 700? Example 2 says this. 273 is 35% of what number? So what's that going to look like? 273 equals 0.35 and so you're going to take 273 and divide it by 0.35. Exactly. And that's how you just, it's right there, an example. And that's how they got 708. Good. All right. What's today? Wednesday's Thursday. It's not low. All right, you just got to do three and four. Yeah. Yeah, really? Middle of page 348. I'm too nice. Go, 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 go. Oh. What? Number three? 348. That's yeah. it. Wait, 348. It's right there in the middle. Uh, and three, four, nine. Your turn now. Wait. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Because. The, the reason I'm doing that is because the next example is about interest, and I want to make sure that we're starting fresh with that tomorrow. And I said tomorrow, so no spoons, ice cubes, all this other fairy tale stuff. I want ice cubes. Oh, oh, yes. No no day. Day. oh we're having a story. We're doing it. Listen, yeah, the little kids it. have a spelling bee. Don't ruin their. Yeah, they want us to know they. Maybe they shouldn't have said that tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, they should have said that tomorrow. She doesn't want to know that. She already tried to get out of it. Like, <laughs> it's one of those things that you don't want to do, but you don't want anybody to know you don't want to do. Oh, the first person. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, actually, yes. yes. Okay. One minute to no homework. Wait. Oh. Can you do it? Hey, who was the pioneer that built the wilderness road through the Cumberland Gap? Me. What? Who? Who was the pioneer that built the wilderness road through the Cumberland Gap and crossed oh, the Gap? Oh, oh, you all know. Well, Daniel Boone. What's the Daniel Boone? Oh, I didn't know that. Name Stevenson. No. Hey, name name one other place that our capital was in besides Washington D.C. New York. New York, New York and Philadelphia. Woo! Who was president that negotiated the Louisiana Purchase? Me. Spider Man. Spider -Man. Spider -Man. Hey! I said Thomas Jefferson. Hey, what's Papa's brother's name in World Thunder? Hear my cry. Uh, it's like the uh, uh, the Uncle Hammer. Yeah, he, he holds up the car. Yeah. That's Mr. Morse. Oh. Yeah, that could be a yeah, more. I need something violent.